Okay, audio check. Quick audio check. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a sync check. <clears throat> so one, two, one, two. Okay, one, two, one, two. Okay, we are good to go. Hello. 
Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, it's an extra stream. Unscheduled stream for the Animal Crossing Easter event. So, if you are new to stream and you don't have go live notifications on, make sure you have them on that we can catch these extra streams. But, um, nothing too crazy today, honestly. Oh, there's a train going by. That's not cool. Um, something a little bit weird that happened today, though, was I got my first, like, donation through stream elements, and it was in my offline chat. So, like, anonymous dono ten dollars which is pretty popular pretty cool but also like it it's weird for me to conceptualize because like people will either like come in the stream donate sub gift cheer or whatever for like that attention and to think that somebody just dropped ten dollars and left that to me i know i'm famous right it, it's just like wild like i was like ecstatic when i saw like the email notification but i was like oh my god the have the Oilers finally found me? <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was, it was wild. I keep looking at chat, that's why like I keep looking this way. See, camera's here, but chat is here. So that's why, I, I don't like looking at myself either. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Oh, I don't have my headsets in. I was like, where's the music at? Yeah, I won't forget OGs. No way. No shot. And, like, honestly, the more you're in chat, the more I'll recognize you anyway. So as long as y'all keep coming in, you know? <laughs> uh, no problem for... Hi, welcome to chat. Hope you're doing well today. Did you change your color? Okay, music is back. Okay. So today, we're not ending stream until we get all of the seasonal recipes made. And I forgot, because, like, I swear I got them all done, but I forgot that you can only unlock a few on Easter Day. So I was disappointed. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> okay. Good morning, everyone. Right now in Timberland, is, it is 11.01 a.m. <laughs> I cannot talk. On Sunday, April 17th, 2022. I hope you're excited, because today is Bunny Day. Plus, it's all a bustle with activity. Perhaps we have a special visitor? Hint, hint. Either way, I'm sure there's a lot of fun in store for us today, so stop by the plaza if you have a chance. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. 801, yeah, imagine being EU. <laughs> imagine. Mm. This right here, if you'll focus, is matcha flavored almond milk with like half regular milk. So that's what I got today. <laughs> Imagine living in the past. Yeah, you're just time traveling right now, dude. Okay, so we're going to do our dailies later, of course, but I kind of want to get focused on the Easter event. So last night, I decorated our plaza. So I think I've crafted all of the unlockable recipes. Okay, so you could purchase these little, like, chocolate bunnies, but I thought it'd be so cute if I just sprinkled them throughout the little flower garden. You can see here. Oh, look at this shot! It's so cool, like, all the rabbits in the background. And then... I didn't... Because, like, there wasn't... There weren't that... I thought there was, like, a bunny arch. But maybe we unlocked that today. I don't know. So I just put these along the perimeter. And I think my favorite part that I did is the clothes part right here. So if you look at the angle, right? Doesn't it look like it's mannequins wearing the clothes? Isn't that cool? I thought that was cool. <laughs> like, see this angle too? Isn't that wild? Okay, so since it's Easter, we can go ahead and wear our Easter clothes. Honestly, these egg outfits, not very flattering, not very form-fitting. So we're not going to wear those. I like the look. I kind of want to see which looks cuter. Because I think the flower, or not the flower, the egg crown is also pretty banging. Okay, we're obviously going to wear this one because this is the most extra outfit. And then... Okay, this bonnet does go hard. But we can't really see ourselves, right? We're going to... Oh, <laughs> we're going to take off the mask! <laughs> it, do it doesn't match the fit. We'll put it on another time. 
but it does not match at all. Okay, I want to see what the crown looks like. Okay, you know how when you wear like a, a crown, usually like it looks best if you like have it on like the lower part of the back of your head, but I don't like how it's sitting like a normal crown would. So I think we're gonna go with the extra hat. Oh, wrong one. <clears throat> yeah, that definitely. Oh wait, I okay. We need that sky balloon. Pause everything. We need it right now. Because I think I only have like two sky eggs in my inventory right now. But wait, now we got three. Yeah, this hat. If you look at the bow shape too, see how like the bow part is a bit longer to emulate bunny ears. That's a really cute touch. It also has eggs in the hat. This, this, this hat goes hard. Okay. So that's... <laughs> I was up at 11pm <laughs> decorating everything. Oh my god, because yesterday... I have I have a final project due today, but I got it done yesterday. Like, a good student, I didn't procrastinate for once. So I was working on homework basically all day yesterday, but I actually got it done. So then I stayed up late decorating my island. <sighs> Wait, can we just look at the shoes? That, that does not match at all. Sh should I go change? Uh, I don't I don't know if I have any shoes that'll match. Oh, I think I have some like tan flats. L let's see what they got in the shop first. I need to make sure we're presentable for the Easter bunny. <laughs> no, no, no. Usually I would ask for extensions like TBH. Like most of my professors are pretty lax, but this one they were like no extensions for anybody unless like something happens and i was like valid valid okay we need to get some matching shoes <gasps> oh my god okay i have a story time about like something actually happened like some shit actually happened we had it this was i think last year but there was like um a, an explosion or no there was a fire at like a nearby like factory so there was an evacuation order on our city right and legit i wasn't able to go home for like a day and a half and i this was i think on a friday okay, none of those shoes match anyway so that, that happened on a friday so i wasn't able to come home until like sunday morning and i emailed all my i emailed my teachers and i told them what happened on friday morning when it happened right they didn't get back to me till fucking monday so like i still like i brought all my laptop and shit with me so i could do my homework when we stayed at the, like a friend's house i think we stayed overnight at a motel but it's like like even when shit happened i still have to get my fucking homework done i was actually upset because you would think, if I'm not able to be at home, because, like, there was a fucking evacuation order, I would get an extension, but the professors didn't answer my emails in time. So, dude, I, I took an L there, I guess. TLDR, just get your homework done as soon as you can, like, honestly. Oh, <laughs> I also, I, we're only gonna have these up for today, because I think the flooring is kind of cute, but the walls are really fucking tacky. It looks like a, it looks like a children's daycare, you know? Okay. Oh yeah, I was looking for shoes. Okay, the only thing that might match would be these loafers. Everything else would clash way too much. Yeah, I think that's good. That way it's still the dress and the hat stand out. <clears throat> okay, now I think we're ready. Now I think we're presentable. Ooh, I also got roses and mums. Hi, Issa. Welcome to the chat. Hope you are doing well today. Okay. I Wait. Hi, Issa. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I'm glad you guys are using the Channel Boy Redemption Zone. <laughs> that way we get new chatters. More used to them. Hi, Aslan. Even though you've been here since the start. Hi, Aslan. <laughs> Ooh, that ceiling fan is kind of cool. Okay. I'm gonna sell off the creatures that I caught last night. 
Oh, fuck. We gotta find the turnip lady. Going to family friends for brunch. Ooh. Dude, I haven't gone out to, like, see people in ages. I'm trying to think. I think one of my neighbors... No, wait. I was thinking of something else. She used to throw, like, an annual, like, 4th of July, like, party. And it'd be, like, a potluck. But she hasn't done that for, like, five years. I don't think I've ever, like, gone to an Easter celebration. When was the last time, like, anybody, like, actually hunted for eggs? I think my parents stopped doing it when I turned, like, 11. And then my sister would have been 9. <laughs> Touch some grass for me, too. <laughs> Honestly, like, watching little kids go Easter egg hunting is so adorable. I don't know about y'all, but, um... Whenever my parents would hide eggs, they'd get the, the cheapy plastic kind, and they'd put coins in it. So they'd put, like, one penny, a nickel, maybe two quarters into different eggs. Oh, you had to help your brother. Oh, that's honestly so cute. That's adorable. Okay, I think we are ready to go. <laughs> boing! <laughs> boing getting boing. Hey there, Skipper, it's me, Zipper. I'm the yucky little- I said yucky. <laughs> I'm the- I'm the lucky yellow bunny, and I'm here to say, there's something super special hippity happening today. Dude, he should be a rapper. Yay, let's all clap. Anytime now, can we get some claps in chat? Zipper is begging for some claps. There we go, we got a single clap. Do I remember you? Well, of course I do. I never forget a friendly face. Especially when I meet in a new place. Dude, he should make an album. He should make an EP. Looks like you kept my visit a secret. I'm surprised you actually listened. Anyway, my favorite day is finally here. Time to fill this island with lots of bunny cheer. Hip hip hooray! Are you ready to celebrate bunny day? <laughs> Great! Say it with me now. The time has come, let's look for eggs! That's my bunny plan! Oh, there he's going too fast. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Find them if you can. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You can still hunt for eggs on this special day. Use your time wisely and try to find the six types of eggs hidden around the island. If you find all six types, I'll give you a fun bunny reward. You know what? I also have a surprise for somebody very special. Ooh. And that somebody is you. Here's a bunny day arch recipe to say thanks for all you do. Well then, you better hop to it if you're going to find each and every bunny day DIY recipe I've hidden. I have a super extra special reward for anyone who crafts all my bunny day recipes. Now no time to waste, make haste. Okay, so, as you can see, and as I said earlier, oops, I don't mean to run through the flowers. I've crafted just about every single recipe. And I only have a very small handful of sky eggs. So today, I don't know how long I'm going to be on for, because in my go live, I said not in extreme until I get all the recipes. So probably going to be on for like two or three hours, depending on how many sky eggs we can get. Because... They, the RNG is not good for sky eggs. <laughs> I I kind of appreciate how, like, Animal Crossing is, like... Their holiday names aren't the actual, like, holiday names. Like, it, it makes it, like, digestible for, like, an international audience. Or, like, people who don't celebrate holidays. So I kind of- I appreciate that a lot. Because I feel like some parents, what Jehovah Witnesses, would be like, I don't want my kid- to play Animal Crossing, because they said CHRISTMAS! You know. <laughs> oh wait, I, I totally skipped what he said. Oops. <laughs> Here's the deal. If we ever short by one egg of a certain type, I can help you out. Oh my god. Dude. I have like a million one egg. Um, <laughs> I need to stop with this XQC voice. I need to stop. <laughs> the birth of the Easter Bunny. <laughs> That's a good debate, though. It's <laughs> okay, I'll give you one egg of your choice, and all you have to do is give me three of a different type. Bibbidi bop, not a bad deal, eh? All you need to say is let's trade, and I'll know what you mean. Ah, a wink, wink. Am I right? So, did you need something? Ah, let's see. 
One, two, three, four, five, and six. Wonderfully, wonderful. You have all six types of eggs. Yippity skippity yay. All right, I'm going to take one of each egg type. Is that okay? Go for it, boss. All right, here you are. Ooh, what we get? It's a bunny day basket. It's time to celebrate. Here we go. <laughs> Boy, get a yay. Hip, hip, hooray. What a wonderful, what a wonderful, wonderful egg-filled day. This is honestly so fun. I know I'm slipping and tripping with my words, but it's so fun to say. Dude, if I was a kid, I would love this shit. All right, kid. Enjoy the rest of your bunny day. Wait, what did he give me? Oh, it was a basket. He got me a basket. Let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> That's cute. Okay, I kind of want to move it back this way. Okay, so homie said we could exchange three of any egg for a different type of egg. And as you can see, in about five seconds, <laughs> um, I have a million and one wood eggs. Because I chop all my trees every day, so just the wood eggs will spawn more because I have a lot more trees. So let's just trade these for a million and one sky eggs. Oh, frick, I keep on skipping a shit. I can't believe you made your very own recipe. That's excellent. Next, you'll be dressing up like a bunny. Hmm. You know how I said I'd give you something neat if you crafted all the DIY recipes I've hidden? Well, you don't have to craft the recipes you come up with on your own to get that special present. No need to get, no need to get your fur in a fluff about those. It's not like they're by a professional or anything. So, did you need something? Yeah, let's trade, man. We get a bunny basketball? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, you want to trade eggs, eh? Which egg do you want? I want sky eggs, sir. So you want a sky egg. You gotta give me three eggs of some kind of exchange. What kind is it gonna be? Is it one by one? Oh, fuck me, dude. This is gonna take forever. Boingity boing, let's trade eggs. You show me yours, you show me mine. No, fuck. I show you mine... You, you show me yours. Ah, I'm out. <laughs> Egg stream stream. <sighs> Honestly, that's probably what the first, like, what the next few minutes is gonna be because if I can only trade one egg at a time, dude, this is the stupidest mechanic. It's like when you're craft, you can only craft one item at a time. Nintendo, please, please fix this. Uh, I know you can add mods to, like, make the text go super fast. Like, I know that's doable. But, you know, I ain't a cheater. And I don't consider myself a speedrunner either. Oh, no problem. I hope you have fun at your brunch. Don't don't be too mean to your brother, okay, Issa? <laughs> I hope you have a good one, man. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I, I, to I skipped through it. Oh, I don't need another basket. I clicked the wrong button. Hey, look at that! It's another sky egg right here. Easy clap! Okay, let's see how many I have. I only have four fucking sky eggs. Oh, feels bad, man. Okay, let's go back to exchanging. Wait, can we, if we look at his little overalls, do you see how, like, the little pins are hearts? That's so cute. Oh, I got, I got a let's trade. Anyway, while, while we're exchanging, or how are you guys doing today? You're enjoying your Easter? Anybody got any Easter plans? Anybody gonna die some eggs? Anybody gonna hunt for eggs? <laughs> I know, it's literally probably gonna take a long ass time to exchange all these eggs. For real, for real. On God, on God! <laughs> oh, is that- oh, I saw- I saw another present! 
Dude, these sky eggs are just spawning like crazy right now. Fuck! I don't want to talk to you! God! No! No! <laughs> Stop! No, I don't- I don't want any fucking wood eggs! Look, she's gonna make me miss out on my sky egg! Okay, saved. Wait! I believe the little alligator was wearing the print for the wood eggs. No, no, they're not. They're wearing ground eggs. I was gonna say, maybe the clothing correlates to what type of eggs each villager will trade with you. But I don't think that's correct. Anyway, let's go back to exchanging. <clears throat> Dude, I think my favorite part of Easter had to be decorating eggs. Because, like, I didn't grow up religious, so I never understood, like, the religious connotations or history to, like, any modernized American holidays. Like, we would just do the, the activities. <laughs> um... So I didn't understand anything. Like, Christmas is just like, ooh, present time. And then Easter is, ooh, let's make eggs. <laughs> but it was still fun. Oh, I, see these shadow right here? I keep on thinking those are sky eggs, and I get excited, but it's not. And I keep on getting debated. Look, kid, what do you want? Oh, yeah, Christmas equals food. Oh. I know, like... My parents would go, like, hard for Thanksgiving dinner. But, like, Christmas dinner was kind of eh. Because we don't have any family in our state. Because all of my family is um, out of state, so we never, like, traveled, and they never traveled to us. So, like, we never had, like, any big family gatherings. So, like, they, like, they would make so much food, but it would just be, like, the four of us eating. And we would have, like, leftovers for, like, weeks. <clears throat> oh, but dude, like, turkey gravy? So good. Amazing. Yeah, Thanksgiving is totally American thing. Like, it, it, <laughs> I know it's funny, like, explaining the premise of Thanksgiving to foreigners. Because <laughs> they're like, you're celebrating the genocide of people? That's kind of weird. And we're like, yeah, that's America for you, dude. <laughs> Okay, I saw a sky egg right here. Dude, there's so many sky eggs spawning. The game must feel bad for us. Because I've, I've literally played like two to three hours every day this week just to grind up eggs. And I still didn't have nearly enough sky eggs. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird. I mean, that's just American consumerism for you. To so where... Because Christmas is, is honestly such a capitalist holiday to where, like, it's just, like, you need to buy this, this, and this. You need to buy all the presents your kid wants. You need to, like, go all out on Christmas dinner. And, like, you have to decorate your house. So, like, people spend so much money on Christmas. Like, I can totally see why, like, just that shift from, like, Thanksgiving to Christmas happens. And, like, some people will be decorating for Christmas after Halloween in October. <laughs> I think because, for the most part, most people around Christmas time are happier. Because, like, it's the start of a new year. You usually get to see your family. And it's kind of like the big event that the whole year is leading up to, almost. I mean, for most people. For most people. You guys have two days of Christmas? Ooh. God, I clicked the wrong button. No, I don't. I do not want... No, I do not want an egg basket. And I'm so glad it lets you exit out of it. Because I would be wasting so many eggs from accidentally clicking. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to go see if I can craft anything. Ooh, I, I have 14 sky eggs right now. That's a That's a pretty decent handful.
Milk is gone. <laughs> Stir the basket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh yeah, this was the arch I was talking about. Because I remember making this last year. But I forgot you can only get it today. Wait, wait have I crafted everything? I feel like I have. <sighs> okay. I think right here, smack dab in the center, has got to be the best place for the arch, yeah? Can I push it? Oh, I can, dude. I am so strong. <laughs> Okay, now let's move these balloons to be next to the arch. Oh, look at how cute this is gonna be. I used to not be into decorating too much, but now I kind of get it. I understand why people spend so much time in this game decorating. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's so good. Ooh, I kind of want to craft, like, just balloons all along. Wait, is this not centered? It's not centered. I need- I, I literally need to fix it right now. Okay, there we go. I- <laughs> How could I not tell it's centered? You can see, like, this center brick line right here. Dude, I'm actually brain dead. <laughs> okay, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep recently. I think it's just because, um, anxiety, Lamau. Um, well, I was just watching YouTube last night. Okay, there we go. All better. Yeah, I, I knew it was going to trigger chat. That's why, like, I had to fix it right now. Because, like, it was going to trigger me. And then also chatters. Oh, look at this. Oh, dude, I love the Easter event. I, I also like the Easter event because, like, it's the most, like, to me, engaging. And also you have, like, a whole week time frame. To get everything done. And, like, get materials. What now? Did I hear you correctly? You crafted all the recipes I hid around the island? My, oh my. I knew you'd try. But you really finished the task. Which leaves me nothing left to ask. Except this one other thing. Did you really think it'd be that easy? <laughs> Kids today have it so good. That's right. I need you to do one more thing. Before I give you your reward. Take this recipe and I'll explain. Okay. Seems kind of sus. This final challenge fills me with glee. You gotta craft a toy that looks <laughs> like me. Yes sirree, it's a wildling zipper toy. Craft this recipe and a super dee duper prize is yours. Bunny's arm. Bunny's arm. Okay, I assume we have everything we need. Because the only eggs we were running low on was the sky eggs, but we got a decent handful. Wait. Oh, he gave it to me, didn't he? I forgot. I thought I would auto-learn it. Okay, let's try again. Dude, I love how, like, the skirt will turn. Well, we got everything. Let's go. Let's go. Easy clap. Okay, please tell me that's everything.
<clears throat> that look on your face says it all. Did you really complete my task, both big and small? You crafted the wobbling zipper toy. Yippee yahoo! I knew I could count on you. And I promise I didn't forget my promise. Congrats! Here's your super spectacular prize. Another one. It's a wonderfully wonderful recipe for a bunny day wand. What do you mean, just another recipe? Sheesh! Looking for a little gratitude here. After all, this excellent crafting, I think more bunny day cheer is in order. Are you ready? <laughs> you're the winner. Yes, you are. Congratulations. You're a star. Hippity hop. The fun doesn't have to stop. The Bunny Day festivities will continue all day today, so go have a hopping good time. And thanks for hopping in on my fun Bunny Day festivities. You've made me the hippity happiest bunny of all. Oh, you know what would be such a fun job? Like, going to the library and reading little kids' books. That sounds like genuinely such a fun job. Like, I think... Oh, I don't even know if our libraries are open right now. Because I know some are open for just, like, curbside pickup. But dude, because I think our libraries had like a volunteer program, which I was going to do, but then pandemic happened. So like I couldn't do it. But I think that would be so fun because like my favorite part when I worked at the daycare um, <clears throat> was like reading time. Like reading one on one with the kids was so fun. Because when my mom, when I was little. She wouldn't just read the books to us. She would have. She would like ask us questions, and like point out things in the pictures and like little things to like take note of as we read the book. So it kind of like encouraged my critical thinking when I was younger. Oh wait, I gotta learn the recipe. I forgot again. <laughs> Lamau. Dude, I'm saying Lamau way too much. I, I picked it up from Scootish and I think Dorothy. I hate it. I need to stop. It's weird how like you pick up like little nuances and stuff from your friends or like people you watch, whether it be like YouTube or TV shows. Oh frick. Oh no. Okay, we had stars the other night, because I forgot that in order to, like, get stars fragments, you have to play at nighttime. So I've been playing at nighttime offline. So, we had stars the other night. Like, last night when I played, there was, like, maybe one shooting star, but I missed it, and then no more spawn the rest of the night, and I was actually genuinely upset. But I think, ooh, I don't know if I have enough fragments. If not, that sucks. I'm gonna go cry. Oh, also, you know the bunny day fencing? I, I just randomly placed them around the island to make it seem like I hid eggs. I thought it was cute. <laughs> it was super effective. Yeah, I failed my AP English exam. So, I don't know. I think... Okay, I'm not stupid. Like, I think I'm, I'm fairly intelligent. But, like, sometimes... <laughs> I can't understand certain things. Like, I'm not good at picking up social nuances sometimes. Hi, Rainy! Welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was looking for star fragments. That was it. Okay, the last thing we have to craft... I think we've crafted everything for the Easter event. But the only thing left to craft is the Easter wand. Oh, yes, I have enough! Look at that. We have seven. Let's go. <laughs> also, I'm wearing jeans today because I was like, I don't feel like wearing sweatpants today. And it has been ages since I've worn like skinny jeans. The only type of jeans I wear are skinny jeans because I don't like the look of like wider legs. Like, you know, like not bell bottoms. What, do you, what would you call them? Like just wide jeans. I don't like the look. Like, I like when, like, the pant, like, tapers to the shape of your body. So I only wear skinny jeans. And they, okay, they're not super tight. <laughs> but, like, I'm not used to wearing stuff This is that is this tight. Like, it, I like, it's cozy. 
at times. I like wearing tighter clothing. But sometimes it gets a little uncomfy. <laughs> Hi, Rose! Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. I'll fight you. <laughs> I see we got some infighting in chat. Sorry, caps. <laughs> no, typing in all caps, I think, is the funniest gag. I think it is so good. Yeah, I kind of want to put the toy here. Doing good, how about you? I'm doing really well. Didn't get a lot of sleep, as usual, but, you know, we're here. And we just finished crafting all of the Easter items. So, we're, we're gonna be chilling today. Oh my god, you filled them with cuteness! Azaleen, stop! Stop, that is adorable. Plus, this is my chat. You're supposed to be simping for me, not Rainy. <laughs> Lamo. <laughs> yeah, I wanna... Let's see what we have. Because, like, I kind of want to craft more balloons? Question mark? You really bought Mario Kart? Rose, you're insane. You're actually insane. But hey, I have an announcement tomorrow. It'll be posted on my Twitter tomorrow. So if you aren't already, go follow me on Twitter. But the announcement may have to do with Mario Kart. I don't know. So stay tuned for that tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Really? I think calling her Myra is adorable. It's cute. And like, it's a nice sweet nickname. I think it's better than calling like someone Babe or Bay. I think calling people Bay is cringe. TBH. To be honest. <laughs> okay, you gotta practice, Rose. Cause like, if you're a beginning player, I'm gonna absolutely destroy you, okay? <laughs> Because, like, I know y'all will, like, give me shit and say I'm bad at Mario Kart. But 1v1, when there's only one person out to get me versus, like, a full lobby of 12 people? Dude, I am actually insane. You used to play on the Wii U? Oh, okay. So you know the game. You know the game. You just don't know the Switch version. Okay, okay. Okay. Can anybody guess what the announcement is? Rainy, you know what it is. Do not say anything. <laughs> I've mentioned it before, but it's going to be formally, like, announced tomorrow. We're going to get Mark. Rainy, please. If you play Mark on a stream, I'm going to actually cry. I've been waiting months. <laughs> Announcing my retirement. I don't know why that's- that's funny, but... <laughs> it's like, I have gotten way too many hate comments, I've gotten too many trolls in chat, too many little fucking eight-year-olds on TikTok saying I'm bad at the game, and that I'm a woman. I am putting away my racing wheel, and I'm done. See, like... I know I said I'm announcing something tomorrow, and I, I still need to make the graphics. I still need to, like, record a voiceover in, like, a commercial for it. We're gonna do that tomorrow. <laughs> so, if you want to see it right when it's announced, follow the Twitter, please. Exclamation Twitter in chat. Announcement is that you don't play with us? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Could be that. Or it could be that I'm gonna retire. We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you do. I think my Twitter is peacein17, no underscore. But. <clears throat> okay, we're trading more eggs. 
Don't be a quitter. Yeah, I'm not quitting anytime soon, guys. No way. Not after I got my first offline dono. No way I'm quitting now. <laughs> Rainy's gonna twi quit DBD. Rainy, are you in chat? Can you confirm the rumors or deny the rumors? Even if it's just absolutely and spreading them, can you confirm or deny? Hago, I appreciate that, Rose. I don't post much. <laughs> like, honestly, I should be posting more. But I feel like I would just say stupid shit. Okay, also, if you guys are a fan of the stream, at the bottom left corner of your um, chat box, there is the channel point rewards. There is a channel point reward. I lowered it down to 20k because I got some complaints that 50k was too much. At Emmy Beef, she said 50k was too much. So I lowered, I posted a Twitter draft to only 20,000 points. So if anybody wants to see my edgy drafts, go ahead and redeem that. Or save up your points. <laughs> it was too much. Yeah, but I thought it was funny to make it so many. And I think Cutie Lee has 20,000 points. So I am concerned. <laughs> no, Rose. Y you chose the Gamba. It's your fault. I encourage you guys to make predictions. God damn it! Click the wrong button. But you know, Azalin can't gamble because they're EU. So Azalin can just build up points. So they're the lucky one. Oh, I cannot believe I traded for the stupid basket again. Okay, we gotta place the basket, find a cute spot to put it. <coughs> it's literally pointless, Omega Lol. <laughs> Yeah, it's good, it's good. <laughs> okay, I need to see how many eggs we actually need for the balloons. Oh, it's only one of each! Okay, okay. So I think we will need... Probably three more of each? Maybe? Question mark? <laughs> you lose too much and I want to believe in you. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. <laughs> yeah, see, Rose is our resident believer and then Rainy is our resident doubter. Can I just say, I like Rose more. <laughs> No, I, I literally do not need any more wood eggs. I have, um, like, probably 200. I literally do not need any more. I'm a hate watcher. <laughs> Isn't it kind of wild how, like, over time, your VIPs and your mods, one, become, like, so obsessed with you, and then they just become hate watchers? Isn't that weird? Isn't it kind of wild? You know what's a good stream to Gamba on? It's the Super Mario 3D World ones. Because I think the Gamba for those streams is, will the stage make me game over? So it'll take a long ass time before I'm gonna game over, because I think I have like six remaining lives. And the game is very forgiving. If you like, keep failing. So, like, it'll just hand out lives and shit. I <laughs> hate watch on YouTube. <laughs> me or everybody else. Because honestly, I haven't gotten any like wild comments on YouTube in a while. I I would disable comments on YouTube, but I don't feel like I really need to. I don't know. Like, they've gotten better. <laughs> Rainy's self-reporting right now. Hi, Jobby. Welcome to the chat. Hope you are doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Otherwise, feel free to chat lurk. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah, honestly, if your mods and regular viewers aren't trolling a little bit, then something is obviously wrong. Oh, wrong on him. Dude, I have so many baskets. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. You can call me cereal? Okay. 
Got a boss? <laughs> I know, same, Rainy. All of the, like, really mean shit I got on TikTok is probably, like, little 10-year-olds and their alt accounts. And it's just like, honey, I know you have all the time in the world, but why are you wasting your time being a little shit? Oh, Avi? Or Avi? Okay. Can I go, Avi? I think that's cuter, TBH. But cereal's fine. I just think Avi's cute. <laughs> I would feel dumb as a 35 year old getting bullied by little kids. I think that is why a lot of like adults are hesitant to start going on social media. Because, like, if you look. Oh no. Oh no. Javi? Okay. Got it, boss. <laughs> yeah, like, some comments, as long as they're, like, a little bit funny, it's fine. But when they're saying, like, jokes that are, like, kind of sexist or kind of, like, really mean and have, like, really, like, subtly mean undertones, it's like, honey, you need to stop. <laughs> Love the fit, thank you! I think I got fit check, fit check, guys. I got this... What would you call it? It's not It's not a cloak, but it just like goes over. It's this nice cute floral print. And then I have jeans and a tank top today. I like fits that are like loose like this and flowy. I feel like this would be cuter if like this part had like more definitions. Aslan, <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I think that joke is a little bit too much. This is like a little bit too mean. Or almost too real. <laughs> is it sage green? It's kind of like... It's like a sea foam green. It might look different on camera, but it's like a nice sea foam green. <laughs> Speaking of the TikTok Mario cosplay. Um, I think on TikTok we're about to hit 2k. Which is insane. Like, actually crazy. But, like I said... Only Mario cosplay when we hit a milli, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. I will post clips and I don't think about things until like I post it or like till somebody calls me out because half the time I don't realize there's like undertones to what I'm saying. Like on that Mario Claus cosplay video, I got a few comments being like, "Oh, you're begging for followers." And like, "Oh, that's stupid. What are you doing? Literally pathetic." And I was just like, Oh, I didn't- I didn't mean to come off that way. <laughs> like, I just thought it was a funny clip. <laughs> but, like, I think it's fine to, like, call people out if you feel like it's necessary. But, like, as long as you do it in, like, a nice way, it's fine. Okay, we got all the balloons there. Well, look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, literally, Aslan is totally right. Literally, why judge people off of one clip? That's why, like, okay, I have only gone into LSF one time, and it was because a streamer was reacting to LSF, and he didn't watch the clip that I wanted to see, and then I went to the LSF and, like, saw everything. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch that drama. <laughs> what? <laughs> what drama? Did I miss something, Rainy? Did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> I reply with dot dot dot. Oh, you're gonna go watch the the. I deleted the, like the kind of rude ones, but I left some of them. Cause one guy was like, "Oh, I'm." Cause like I basically reply with you know like I will post clips and not realize that they're kind of like, I guess ego or like a little bit rude until like people will say something. I was like basically I'm socially inept now, and they're like, "Oh my god, I'm sorry. I understand." I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, Rainy's the person who loves- She is always pinging our group chat with just, like, online stream or Twitch drama. That is literally all Rainy does all day. <laughs> um, if you guys aren't- oh, oh my god, we need, we need to buy fucking turnips right now! Okay, if you aren't already- Um, we're talking about the TikTok. Go follow the TikTok. Okay, um, how much money do I have? Um... 
I'm debating if I should go withdraw some more money from the bank, but honestly, I shouldn't be dropping a million one dollars in turnips. <laughs> Good morning. You here to start your Sunday off with some fresh turnips? I got turnips of plenty. Fresh from So Jones Stock Market. Wanna buy them for 110 each? Okay, I need I I literally need to write this down. Because last week they were only $90. So I'm I'm writing it down. I'm not a phone streamer, I promise you. I'm just writing down that they cost 110 bells. I cannot tell you guys how many like Samsung notepads I have that are just numbers that I will like write down, but then not write the context for. Like <laughs> I have so many, like, I'll look back at them and I'm like, that must have been important. But not important enough for me to, like, actually write down what it was for. <clears throat> you never buy turnips. I used to not buy turnips, too. But now that I kind of, like, get it. Because I don't like gambling. I roll gambling? Bad. <laughs> Let's buy the max, guys. All in, baby! <laughs> You don't get the turnip thing. Okay. So basically, turnips are only sold on Sundays, and the price varies per week. And then you can resell them to the Nook shop, but the price changes that it sells for every day. So some days it may sell for 70 bells, and then some days it can sell up to like three to 400 bells. So it's basically the price will fluctuate throughout the week, but you have to sell the turnips by the end of the week because they expire on the following Sunday. So, if we play later this week, you will see, like, you can talk to the merchants, and you can ask them, Oh, how much are you selling turnips for this week? And they'll be like, or this day. They'll be like, oh, we're selling them for $30. And you're like, dude, I should not sell them today, because if I sell them for $30, but I bought each of them for $100, I'm down $70 per turnip. So, it's, it's like the stock market. That's kind of like why the pun was like, oh, the... Jones so stock market like a stock. Yeah, it sucks. It stocks, yeah. I, I don't I don't fuck with stocks IRL. I don't do any crypto shit. Mainly because like I have no money. <laughs> As you heard earlier, I got excited from like a ten dollar dono. I was like, what the fuck? That's so much money. Um But like I don't have any money to like invest. Like if I ever do, I would consider it. I don't know. Don't apologize, keep the drama. Literally, Rainy. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so now that we have the easter event started and you guys know what time it is you guys know what time it is right we are about an hour in, in the stream so it is ad time baby i gotta fulfill my contractual obligation so an ad is coming but you can avoid that ad if you subscribe for just $4.99, just $5 a month. That's the cost of less than a Starbucks coffee. So skip your coffee today, skip it tomorrow, and you can get ad free viewing all month, baby! Or you can link your Amazon to your Twitch account and get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. Isn't that cool? You get super cool sub emotes, you get ad free viewing on the stream and the VOD. So if you're a VOD watcher, and you can't necessarily catch the lives, you can subscribe and get no ads on VODs. Because on VODs, I think there's an ad every 15 minutes. So, that is crazy. Subs are $3.99 here? Dude, that is crazy. Hopefully my cut is the same. <laughs> Lamau. Okay. So we will see some of you guys in a few minutes. I know, ad is coming, Sedge. Okay, let's go back to game... Okay. I think the, the ad spiel is kind of funny. I think it is kind of humorous. <clears throat> and also, I think it's kind of nice to have, like, a reminder that an ad is coming. <laughs> this is when I bully all the non-subs. Exactly. Exactly. Get it? Egg. Exactly. <laughs> Lamo. <laughs> Dude, I remember... Okay, if... If you don't know what Twitch Turbo is, look it up. Look it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I will totally do that for you, Rainy. Like, write me a script and I will record some shit. I think it's funny. 
Because I know my favorite, like, type of YouTube videos, like, parodies, has got to be... Like, the infomercials. Those are my favorite parodies. Okay. I need to start focusing now, because we're going to start getting... Start getting to work on our dailies. Okay. We finished the Easter event faster than I thought we would, TBH. Because I didn't realize that... You could trade eggs for other eggs. Literally mind-blowing. I forgot that was a mechanic. But actually life-saving. Because imagine waiting for more sky eggs to spawn. That would take all day. Not saying that I don't have all day. Because I did get my homework done. But also... <laughs> I don't know how fun that would be to watch. More like egg-saving. Exactly. <laughs> You hate the Easter stuff? Rose. I think... I thought we were cool. But... I don't know anymore. I think... I think that... Has been the straw that broke the camel's back. The, the, how can you not like the Easter shit? It's so soft. It's all pastels and cute. Something is wrong with Rose. <laughs> Oh, we had a new follow two minutes ago. I'm sorry, I don't alerts on for follows, but thank you for the follow, Ospet. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I usually don't look at my alerts tab because nothing happens during stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You don't want an egg room? Just have it up for a day. Just, like, feel festive for a single day, you know? And then just take it down tomorrow. Easy. <clears throat> okay, I would have follower alerts on, but I'm so scared of getting follow botted. That's why I don't have the notifications on in chat anymore either. Because imagine you get like a thousand follow bots and then it just spams your chat for like an hour. That doesn't seem fun. That's why it's turned off. I might turn it on someday, but I don't want that to happen, so, Sag, if I miss any alerts, tell me, and I will say thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, anyway, let's get started on dailies. <clears throat> also, since it's been an hour, gentle reminder to get a snack and some water if we need it, guys. Bro, I just chugged like a third of this cup. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> I almost drowned myself. <laughs> that was way too much. Okay, my stomach is gonna start hurting now. <clears throat> that wasn't gentle enough. What? <laughs> What wasn't gentle enough? The the aggressive ad promotion? <laughs> what? Okay, I kind of want to do flowers first, because I always forget to do flowers. Also, my house storage is completely full. So... Oh, gentle reminder. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, like, I say shit, and then I forget what I say, like, a minute later. Dude, that's anxiety brain for you. Because, like, I'm really good at remembering, like, events or happenings. But I tend to, like, distort what people say sometimes. Which is not good. That's also partially why I'm very, like... Or uh, why I've grown, like, more confrontational or argumentative over time. It's just a, def a defense mechanism, Sag. <laughs> so if any time I go a little too hard, or if I'm, like, being a little bit too mean, chat, please tell me and I will fix my ways. Same. Yeah, like, it sucks, but, like, <clears throat> okay, but let's not get too deep into things. But, like, a lot of, like, your life experiences or your traumas will shape your personality. And it sucks. 
it sucks. It's not fun to think about. <clears throat> yeah, like, I, I, I watched this video that was talking about, like, oh, what to do during a hate raid or a follow up raid. And it was just so much shit. <laughs> like, I think the most I will do, because, like, I think I saw a video, like, it was, like, a kill all switch to where, like, it would disable everything with one, like, shortcut button. Which is kind of cool, like, that's really cool that that's possible, but then I was like, that's too much work. <laughs> it's like, I think the most I will do is just toggle, like, sub-only chat, and then just time out my stream elements, elements bot. <clears throat> I don't know, one day I'm gonna get raided, and <laughs> I know it's coming, it's gonna happen. I think I was only in a stream one time when they got hate raided. And I think it was during a Hassan stream. And I remember, like, he was reading chat. And then, like, the whole chat was just cleared. And then it had, like, literally, like, hundreds and hundreds of usernames getting blocked. And everyone in chat, like, after refresh was like, Oh, what's going on? <laughs> but I've never been in a small streamer's chat that's gotten raided, thankfully, because... Anytime those type of things happen, it's obviously overwhelming for, like, the chat room because they don't necessarily understand what's going on sometimes. Or, like, also for the streamer to, like, have to deal with that on their own isn't fun. <laughs> you missed mine twice. I know! Literally, literally, when I'm not in Rainy's chat, something happens. It's because I'm not in her chat for very long. But, like, literally, anytime I'm not there, something goes down. And I feel bad. It feels bad, man. But also, when you're a small channel, like, you don't have very many mods, which is just how it is, you know? And, like, right now, shh, nobody, nobody leak, but I only have one mod. I w <laughs> I'm gonna report a little bit. I was gonna mod Rainy. But we were both talking about it, and we were both like, yeah, it's probably too stressful for Rainy. Because, <laughs> like, my rules, I'm very, like, strict with a lot of shit. And we were both like, yeah, we'd probably both get anxious, like, just thinking about how to handle shit. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, Rainy's VIP, though. I think VIP is cooler than mods, because you still get, like, a super fancy badge. But you don't gotta do shit. You know, you get to hang out in chat. You don't have to, like, moderate the chat room. You just get to hang out and chill. And you get just as much attention as respect as a mod would. IMO. So, I think mod is better. <clears throat> oh, wait. I think VIP is better, Sag. I, th I think I said mod. But I have mod in a few channels, but- Ooh, I- I got VIP in Emu's channel a few weeks ago and I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, because she VIP'd me live on stream and I actually, like, flipped my shit. <laughs> like, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, bullying the streamer, that's definitely a perk of being a mod or VIP. But I think also, like, once you have those badges, People will understand that you're goofing and gaffing, you know? Oh, dude. Yes, having a Founder's Badge, it's such a power move, you know? Like, especially when you look at OG streamers. Like... When you see, like, a Founder's Badge when they got, like, 10k viewers, and you're like, oh my fucking god, that's crazy. To think that someone stuck around for that long. I think I have Founder's Badges in... I think two channels. One for Cutie Lee and then the other for Bruff Fairy. <clears throat> because when I found both of them, they were still like growing. And like shooting for affiliate, so. Ooh, we got a cool dining table. Let's see how cool it is. Okay, this looks like the tables they put in the cafeteria. 
I don't like that. I get famous on our TikToks. <laughs> yeah, I think it's cool the direction that Rainy is going. Because now she's trying to post clips of her just talking or talking in chat. Which, can I just say, I recommended her to do, and I think it's doing good. <clears throat> because I think we said this last time, but on TikTok, people like accounts or people that are real. Because there's a lot of fake people online. <laughs> I stole it, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Because on TikTok, people like relatable content. So if they see that you're like a real person, they're gonna like you more, right? <laughs> okay, let's get started on our daily, guys. Yeah, streamers are real people, imagine. I definitely think streamers are like the most real, quote unquote, when compared to like other influencers. Because if you look at YouTubers, since this edited down footage, it's very much like they can choose what's on screen, right? But on stream, you're basically broadcasting yourself for hours on end. And you can't necessarily be on for that whole time. And just based off of, like, stories I've heard of, like, streamers talking about other streamers or viewers talking about interactions they had with streamers. Like, I've only really heard good stories. There's not many bad stories I've heard. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. I'm trying to think. There's not many streamers that I watch that are like a super exaggerated version of themselves and i think that's kind of why i know a lot of big streamers yes they like they do have that sense of ego but a lot of them still feel real because i think it just follows with that point earlier where it's like when you're live for that long it's very hard to maintain that maintain that character for that long like actors Yes, they're on set for hours on end, but how much of those, like, eight hours are they actually, like, filming their character? You know? I'm debating if I want to sell any of the remaining eggs or try and craft recipes. Because I think the recipes crafted sell for a lot more than just the base eggs do. <clears throat> okay, I forgot that I needed to carry extra axes. Yeah, I agree. I've, I've never really watched any of Disrespect streams, but I've seen like clips and I'll watch some of the YouTube. I mean, I would have watched more of the YouTube, but like, I don't like FPS games. To BH. But like, it makes sense because like his whole shtick and the whole concept is him being a character. So I think that matches, right? Like, I personally have never liked the YouTube personalities to where like they're super exaggerated or like super like, over the top, you know? I <laughs> pretend to have a big ego. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's why, like, I like that I'm starting to play Animal Crossing every day because it definitely feels more intimate, like, a lot more, like, just chatting and people get to, like, Get to hear my opinions and then i get to hear chat's opinions because like i could play more mario kart but with the mario kart like i definitely disassociate a little bit because since it's more of like a fast-paced games like i feel like there's more pressure for me to like god damn it sorry i thought i didn't chop that one yet 
Anyway, with like the Mario Kart segment of stream, I feel like I have I have more pressure to like be entertaining. It doesn't fit on her eyelid. <laughs> I think it's cool how we can all goof and gaff with each other, you know? I think my favorite thing about streaming has to be seeing how, like, one, my personality and, like, banter will work off of individual chatters. And then also seeing how other chatters will like goof and gaff with each other as well. Like it's cool to see how everyone has like a different vibe, you know? Yeah, of course yeah, exactly. Like for the most part, everyone here is goofing. And like as I said earlier, if I like make a joke or comment that you don't like, tell me and I will change that behavior. Cause I, I think it's important to like respect boundaries and lines. Like, I'm- I'm not gonna say anything too outrageous. I'm not gonna say anything, like, too crazy. <laughs> um... I will promise you that. Like, I'm not gonna say some bigoted or, or like, hateful shit. <laughs> because, like... I hold back a lot of my jokes and commentary, like... Off-stream Megan is crazy. Like, I say a lot of, like, edgy shit. <laughs> But I definitely tone it down for stream, because one, I know it's very easy to clip and ship. Um, because like the way I try and see streaming is oh, OMG, yeah. I was like OGM. I was like what? <laughs> um, the way I try and like see things is I pretend in my head that I have one K people here, and by that I mean like. I try and keep in mind what I say and like how would a thousand people react to this would as a hive mind as a collective group would they react positively or negatively to what I'm saying right and when you're very small it is very easy to overshare like I have been in streams or like I'm lurking sometimes and like some people with like two viewers will either say some like really hateful shit or say some stuff that's very personal that they probably shouldn't be sharing. Like, they would not be sharing if they had 1k people in chat, right? So, that's kind of like how I see it. That's why you will never really hear me say... Like, I will never jokingly, like, encourage people to go, like, send hate to someone. Even if I'm still very small. Like, I will never, like, outright call someone based... On, like any type of discriminatory matter because those jokes aren't appropriate and a lot of those jokes require a perspective which i don't have for, cer for certain groups or individuals and i think it's a very like healthy way to see things that's also why i don't sad post like i i try my best to like hold back because like there's a lot of times where like ooh I I want to like vent on Twitter or like vent on my Snapchat story I don't have a Snapchat don't ask I deleted it literally when I graduated high school so I don't have one <laughs> but it's very easy to like be overly open when you think no one is listening right and I don't want to share anything that I'm gonna regret sharing you know. Yeah, rule of thumb, don't say anything you don't want everyone to hear. Exactly. Because I don't know if anyone is secretly a hate watcher <laughs> and, like, recording everything I'm saying. So, like, that's why, like, I'm very hesitant with what I say. I'm very hesitant for what I show on screen. Like, I'm very careful to, like, not show my phone on screen. Anytime my phone is on screen, I have it on do not disturb mode. So, like... I don't leak anything, you know, or I don't leak any personal DMs with other people. And, like, just on that note, it's about respect, right? 
is like respect for like my personal boundaries and also respecting like everyone else I interact with personally, right? Because, like, if I leaked Discord DMs, I would feel bad. Like, okay, granted, my Discord DMs are not insane. Like, I'm not fucking do anything bad. But, like, I don't want to, like, accidentally leak someone's, like, username or some shit. I don't know. It's, it's just how I say things. Yeah, exactly. You have to, like, filter and hold back a lot. And as we were saying earlier, you're live for, like, hours and hours on end. So it's very easy to, like, slip up sometimes or, like, not realize the severity or weight of what you're sharing or saying. That's why, like, up until, I think, two or three weeks ago, I only streamed for two hours. Like, I've transitioned to do about three-hour streams. Because three-hour streams is just better for growth. That's what a friend told me, so I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I gotta stream for longer now. <laughs> but it's very easy to share things you shouldn't be sharing. <laughs> oh, not again! Okay, can I do the impossible? Nope. <laughs> Sag. Let's go back. <clears throat> Cause like, also, talking about sharing, I think at its core, streaming should be seen as a creative outlet, not as like, a way to like, I guess dump on your viewers. Like, if I'm in a stream and they're like either like shitting on themselves the whole time or like just being sad and depressing the whole time, like I wouldn't watch that. Like like I see entertainment as an escape. So like if I see someone who's like being sad all the time, I'm not gonna watch. Like it's not gonna be fun for me. Cause it's like, honey, I'm sad enough. I don't need to hear your shit too. <laughs> Dude, that that one was a little bit mean. I'm gonna be honest. That was <laughs> Don't clip that one, please. That was one of the stream of consciousness ones that I didn't like think clearly before saying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't need more. Sh we don't need more shit. <laughs> Cancelled, probably. <laughs> I I have no clout to get cancelled, so try me, bitch. <laughs> That's why, like, I know my personal, like, favorite on-stream personality has got to be, like, the super extra, like, the super, like, not necessarily hyper, but, like, the really energetic, positive people. I'm trying to think of who I usually watch. Like, I don't watch a lot of small streamers anymore, unfortunately. I think because when I watch streams now, half of the entertainment is the chat room. So, like, if your chat room isn't as busy, or they're not saying funny shit, it's not as entertaining for me as a viewer. Because, like, the biggest appeal for watching a small streamer is, like, the interactivity. Like, being able to, like, actually talk with your streamer. But once you get to a certain size, your chat rooms becomes, like, them, like, making jokes and, like, being funny. <laughs> so... Yeah, like, I saw a clip of that. Like, that was crazy. Like, I was thinking about it. I was like, it's cool that, like, their parents gave them money to, like, start streaming. And it's also cool that, like, the parents had enough, like, faith in the kid. They're like, oh, you know, you can do whatever you want. 
know, because obviously the parents see streaming for that kid as like an as an outlet, right? And I'm glad like that clip popped off. <laughs> because it kind of proves that no matter how like young you are, you can still make good shit. You haven't seen it? Oh dude, it's such a good clip. I saw it on LSF. <laughs> and yeah, it's on Twitter too. I don't I don't think I've seen it on Twitter Twitter, but like I saw people reacting to it. Oh my god, I was sitting on my leg wrong and it fell asleep. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. <sighs> oh, I just realized that the music is different for the holiday. So I was like, this is not noontime music, is it? <laughs> it's because it's holiday. God damn it, not again! Yeah, we're gonna time properly this time. Nope. <laughs> Am I never gonna be able to do it again? Am I not gonna be able to do the impossible ever again? If anybody was here, I like one time I switched to the the butterfly net and I actually caught the wasp. Like I actually clutched. I think Aslan clipped it last time. It was crazy. I watched it back and I was like, how did I do that? Maybe it was the position I was facing. Maybe it was, like, the RNG just in my favor that day. But I have yet to have that same luck. Yeah, I appreciate you clipping that. Anybody who clips stuff in the stream... Honestly, shoutouts. Because, like, I know I do have, like, a timer gently reminding people that, yes, you can clip the stream, and yes, I love when you do that. Because, like, to me, it's cool to see, like, what chatters think is funny. And it's also funny to see what you guys title the clips. Because some of y'all need to work on your clickbait game, okay? When I clip stuff for people, I will, like, clickbait the shit out of the title. Like, half of the fun being in Rainy Day Game Stream is just clipping stuff and naming the title something funny. <laughs> <laughs> because some of her DVD, B, D, DVD jokes are really good. And like just thinking of some funny shit to name the clip is half of the fun. Yeah, I'm. Dude, the, I am such a god gamer. <laughs> I am gonna quit Mario Kart and I'm just gonna invest all my time into Animal Crossing. That is what we are going to do, guys. When she has only four Ks in the title. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like only W's today, guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. If y'all are gonna stream, name your title like the craziest shit. Like, whenever I title my Mario Kart stream something along the line lines of like, I'm the best Mario Kart player that ever lived! I get so many clicks on the go live and so many like new people coming into stream because the, just the title is so ego it's so like bullshit <laughs> but it makes people come in <laughs> like okay i'm gonna be honest if i'm on discover and i see that your animal crossing is called your animal crossing stream is called ooh chill animal crossing stream i'm gonna barf and leave My ego gets people to stay. <laughs> yeah, because, like, 
I think there aren't many extra personalities in small streamers, right? It's usually a lot of people who are still like developing their voice, still developing their on-screen personalities. What I'm trying to say is that there are a lot of mid people, me included. I am still very mid. I am still like learning my own voice. So I myself am very mid. Do not clip me out of context. I am saying I am mid as well. Dude, I was thinking about it, and like, if I ever have like, an enormous amount of money, I legit, I would want to get like, a designer, and like commission them to just make me a dress every month. Like, how sick would that be? Like, imagine every month I have like, a new princess dress, or like, a ball gown dress. And I can just like, take cool pictures, and like, feel pretty like how fun would that be like that would probably cost like us several thousand dollars every month but like if i had money dude i would be dropping fat stacks on that For some reason, the shadow of this flower right here, I thought it was a bug and it scared me. I also did say earlier on Twitter, if I ever become like a mega super rich, I would give all of my money to Rainy. And I will stay true to that. <laughs> no! Okay, let's try again, let's try again. almost had it Did you guys see that like i swung the net twice i just didn't aim i was genuinely so close that time dude i almost farmed an impossible clip mm. ah shit here we go again <laughs> That has got to be my favorite meme. Just the GTA 5 guy. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm like... Oh, can we do it again? Do we, can we do it again? <gasps> oh my god! I did it again! I think I found it! I think I found the strat! I think I got it! I think I figured it out! What I did is... Because when you chop, I'm usually like... Right next to the tree. So you step back, quickly turn around, face forward, retrieve the net, and then just immediately swing! Hey, Aslan, you want to clip that for me? <laughs> oh, yeah, I said the wrong GT. I didn't, and I said... I never played either game, so... Kind of my fault. Dude, that was actually crazy. I did it again. Dude, doing the impossible twice? Yeah, Aslan, you literally are a boomer.
Dude, I still can't get over how I caught those wasps. That's crazy. I thought I never would be able to do it again. I need to like revel in my success a little bit more. Oops, the wrong button. Uh, thank you, Aslan. I appreciate that. What you can do as well. Um, are you able to collect channel points, Aslan? Um, if so, you can use the channel point redemption. It costs 15 points. Because we can't send links in chat. Oh, I think I actually have a command for that. Oh, I didn't acti activate the command. Hey, you clipped it three times? Four times? Sheesh! <laughs> oh, I love I love clip farmers. I appreciate it. It's just like a nice subtle way to like tell me and then also get chatters used to like seeing channel point redemptions in chat, you know? <laughs> I need to spend these points on something. How many points do you have, Aslan? Cuz you've been in chat a bit more recently. So you might have I I okay, let me guess, let me guess. I think you have 7k. Not even close? Oh, Sag. 3k? Okay. We gotta be in chat more! <laughs> um, if anybody is new to stream or new to Twitch, I'm gonna go ahead and link you guys to the Twitch help article that explains how channel points and predictions work. So if you are unsure, it'll that article will help explain it to you guys. You have 7.4. Can you buy anything good, Rainy? Let's see. Rainy can buy an ad. We can make me sing for 2.5k. <laughs> I think Make Megan Sing has only been redeemed twice. I don't even have 7.5k. <laughs> oh, there goes my axe. Come on, dude. And we're almost done chopping. <laughs> yeah, I think the most points I have in like a smaller streamer's chat is... I think I have like 21,000 in QD Lee. And she has a channel for redemption that's 20k points so I can afford it. To where you can take over the stream and you can just redeem it and she will do whatever you tell her to do. And I'm trying to think of something good. I don't know what to do. Like, I'm trying to think of a good gag. <laughs> Smash the ukulele. <laughs> I don't think that would be a good channel for redemption. I think that would be, like, a good dono goal. Oh my god, I, the last Rainy Day game stream. I think it was her last stream. But... She, like... I was in chat. I started the hype train. Can I just say I started it? Like, she showed chat that her um, sub goal for the month. So, guys, if you haven't already, go follow Rainy D Games and give her a million subs because her sub goal for this month was, I think, 100 subs and she will wear, like, this cute, like, pink maid outfit. And, like, when she showed chat, everyone was freaking out. And then it started, like, a level 5 hype train, and it was insane. I was there. It was crazy. But, Rady, how close are we to that sub goal? Please tell me we're, like, very close. Because I would die if I saw that shit. No cap. On a stack. I would die. Because Rady is cute and everything, but, like, imagine Rady in a maid outfit. Oh my god, the... Oh, we're only 30 away, guys. Come on. I know, I know I oh, I beg for subs every hour, but I would gladly let you guys give away my subs to Rainy. Guys, please. <laughs> like, my sub goal right now is I give Chad a hug, which is cool. Hugs are pretty pago, but honestly, Rainy in a Maidra's is god tier. That is a lot more rare than a Megan hug. So... <laughs> anyway, 
See, guys, you become my friend, and then I promote you all the time in my chat. That's what you guys have to do. You don't even have to self-promo. I will do it for you guys. Isn't that crazy? Okay, honestly, self-promo is cringe, to BH. Like, I know it's a meme to be like, oh, people come into my stream all the time and they say, ooh, I'm going live in five minutes, I can't stay. And like, honestly, do you think that's gonna work? Even when there's like a shout out command in chat, not many people go and like check out or follow the shouted out channel. So you really think self-promoing in someone else's chat is gonna work? No shot, dumbass. <laughs> anyway, that's my take. Yeah, I don't, I don't complain about it live. So like, I will just quietly delete a message if I don't like it. I don't like bringing in attention to things. Because a lot of people who will say stuff out of hand want that attention, right? So, I don't give them that attention. Also, chatters, if you see someone being rude and shit, ignore them. I will handle it. A mod will handle it. Like, don't egg them on, you know? Yeah, people who don't follow Twitch etiquette, cringe. Also, follow for follow is cringe. So, don't be mad if I don't follow you back on, like, Twitter, Twitch, or TikTok, or whatever. Like, I don't do follow for follow. Because, like, you ever go to an account, and, like, their following count is higher than their follower count? Or, no, wait, no, fuck. Did I, did I say that the right way? Or, like, basically follow for follow leads to fake en engagement, right? Or, like, not a lot of engagement on your posts, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Followers mean nothing if you don't earn them. That's why, like, I love the TikTok. I love her so much. All of my TikTok frogs, you guys are all cute and funny and cool. But also, like, whenever a video pops off, I get kind of sad. Because I know I'll gain, like, a lot of followers. Like, I think from the food bank video, I gained, like... Nearly a thousand followers in a day, which is crazy, like actually insane. No, wait. Fuck, I meant like 500. I didn't gain a thousand, I gained like 500. <laughs> I gained 500 followers in a day, which is crazy, insane, which is really good. But also, like, you, you kind of fall off, or like those new followers don't engage with their new videos, and that kind of feels bad. Just whatever. It's how it is, right? <clears throat> That's why, like, I don't think I ever want to do, like, a follower celebration stream. Because, hot take, I think they are cringe. Like, or, like, you know those YouTube videos where they're like, oh, I hit 100,000 followers. And it's like, yeah, that's cool, but also, once you get to a certain point, the number just becomes less relevant, right? And, you know, like, I'd rather have people who genuinely like the content or, like, who are genuinely interacting with the stream or, like, my offline socials because it shows that you either like me or like what I make. And that, that at, at its core, is what content creation should be. Yeah, I agree with that to an extent. Like, definitely follower count. Because especially as of recent for my Twitch, a lot of my followers are crossover people from the TikTok. And we get, like, a lot of people from TikTok and chat, which is cool. But, like, I know not a lot of people are going to, like, watch the stream. Which is fine. I don't care. Like, people can come in whenever they want. Because, like, ultimately... I should be the one having fun no matter how many people are here, you know? Like, I like to feel- okay. I've said this before, but like, I think I have a very similar vibe. Um, if I have like two or three people versus ten. But I do know I get more hyped when I have more than like five people here. Um, 
that's just how it is because I get excited. <laughs> so I, I, I notice I do get like a little bit more hype. Um, I know a lot of people will say it's cringe to have your viewer count on. Well, that's normal. Yeah, I get excited when they're because like imagine like having five people in the room with you. Like it, it's so hard to conceptualize even having like 1k people watching a stream. And, like, I watch streamers who have, like, 20 to 50k. And, like, that's their normal. Like, it's, it's so hard to conceptualize when on screen, yes, it's a number, but you fail to remember that there's a person behind every number, you know? Because I streamed to zero people for the longest time. Because my content was bad. I didn't talk. I understand why people didn't watch TBH. But I, I get excited whenever I have just one person here. Because just knowing that someone wants to spend their time with me when they could be like doing other stuff or watching another stream makes me feel good, you know? And to think that people are hanging out with me on a holiday is really nice. Granted, I know I'm not doing anything for holidays, so I <laughs> I literally had nothing to do today. So <laughs> I was like, why not stream? And then I also said I would stream any Animal Crossing holiday event. So which means we're gonna be streaming on Christmas, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Well, I was thinking about it. Since it's like 8 p.m. for you, Aslan, rainy day gay streams, <laughs> rainy day game streams are probably super late for you. Yeah, that sucks. Because like, thankfully, I'm in the states and I'm in the Pacific Northwest, so like, I have the latest time. Like, Eastern Standard Time is three hours ahead of me. Yeah, I feel it. And, like, I feel bad, too, because, like, I can't make all of my friends' dreams, because, like, usually the time that Rainy goes live is, like, my homework or, like, my editing time. So that's why I usually will chill for, like, an hour or, like, an hour and a half. Because I feel like definitely part of being, like, a content creator is, yes, you should be investing your time, like, watching other streams watching other content that you do enjoy, but you need to be investing adequate time into your own stuff. Because when I first started posting the clips content, I was posting like one a day because I was spending too much time watching other people's streams, right? But then I decided, I was like, you know, if I want to succeed and if I want to see growth for myself, I need to a lot less time for like watching content and then more time into like actually making content like i.e like editing vods down and once i started posting twice a day on tiktok that's when it started doing well so See what these look like. I hate that. I I genuinely hate those. Oh yeah, we need to see what the hot item is. Hot item. Wait, I I missed it. Firewood wood block chest. Wood block chest. Okay, no shot, because that requires. See, that requires three. Oh, that requires 15 softwood. Hmm. Is it worth? I think I have a lot of softwood in my inventory. If we have a lot, then I will make that. Because, like, regular firewood sells for a decent amount. And then soft... I don't know. Because, like, 15... I know some, like craftable like tables that I've sold 
needed 15 wood. So I think 15 is adequate. That's not too many. Or that's not, not that's not too much wood to ask for. <clears throat> oh yeah, we got a lot of soft wood in here. No biggie, I can easily drop them. Hi, Emmy! Welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well today. Yes, it is Easter. We finished the Easter event about an hour ago. Because everyone in the house is way too old to be celebrating Easter. So I gotta celebrate somehow, right? <laughs> but I appreciate you coming in and saying hi. Feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy, man. Oh my god! Thank you for the gifted sum, Emmy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Supreme Ginger got the gifted sum. You're gonna go ahead and get your name written at end of stream in the sub-only journal. So I appreciate that. I get to show off the calligraphy today, guys. Never too old to celebrate. Okay, I think it's a little bit cringe if my parents spend 20 minutes prepping eggs and hiding eggs and then me and my 21-year-old sister going out to search for them. Like, I feel like the neighbors would give us funny looks, you know? But to each their own, I guess. They, The neighbors do know that we're all a little bit special. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need to stop. Anyway... Yeah, one of the neighbor kids, I think they were, like, searching for Easter eggs up until they were, like, 12. And, like, we were teasing them a little bit. We were like, why are they still hunting for eggs when they're 12? So, I feel like it'd be hypocritical if we made fun of them. <clears throat> Oh. You wish you could search for eggs? Oh, Sag. Are you the youngest in the house? I know you said you have siblings. Or, uh, or one brother, at least. See, I think hiding eggs would be genuinely fun. Like, finding, like, obscure places to hide eggs. We have an older brother. Okay, so you're the youngest. Okay. So you're like the kid of the family. Aww. <laughs> okay, I need to drop some stuff off. <laughs> no, honey. Aslane, we don't... <laughs> Who hides real eggs? <laughs> I think everyone here like hides the little plastic ones. I don't think anybody, like, hides the boiled eggs. Or, okay, you know it'd be funny? It'd be funny if you, like, hid, like, raw eggs. And then you only, like, let's say there's four people hunting for eggs. And, like, you hid, like, three eggs. And then the one person who doesn't find an egg gets, like, the other three eggs chucked at them. I think that would be, like, a little bit funny. Thoughts, guys? Oh yeah, like the plastic, like, my parents would put coins instead of our eggs, because we were like, one year my parents were like, do you want, like, candy or money? We were like, money. <laughs> so they would, like, hide coins in the eggs. And I think one year they put, like, a single 20 into one of them. I can't remember if I got it or my sister got it. I feel like my sister would have gotten it, because she is such, like, a lucky little shit. <laughs> Oh, you always got candies, Sag. I guess we're just richer than you, Emmy. The <laughs> tooth fairy was always cheap. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I think, like, on the first tooth, 
I got like a 20. And then all the other ones, you got like a 5. And then you're just like, the Tooth Fairy is not paying up this year. Or not this year, but... Bro, one of my friends got literally quarters from the Tooth Fairy. It was bad, man. <laughs> hey, guys! Since we're gonna get- Um... What was I gonna say? Since we're gonna start crafting, it's gonna be- Oh, wrong screen! I changed my scenes around. Sag. Hey, we are about another hour into stream. You know what time it is. You know what time it is! It is ad time, baby! So, um, you can subscribe and get ad-free viewing for a whole month for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Or, or, you can link your Amazon to your Prime account and get a free Amazon Prime sub. Isn't that crazy? You also get ad-free viewing on the stream and the VODs, and you get super cool subscriber-only emotes. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Help support the channel. Also, any Oilers, you can gift subs too, like our top of the leaderboard, Emmy Beef, with six gifted subs for the month. <laughs> yeah, give me those ads, baby! <laughs> okay, so we will see some of you guys in a few. I put the wrong command. Dude, if you haven't already, look into Twitch Turbo, guys. It is amazing. Anyway, we'll see some of you in a few. few. Azeline, you're so mean! <laughs> That's so mean! You just lose your brain cells when you get your teeth pulled. What's Twitch Turbo? Look it up, Emmy. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I said look it up, hun. It is amazing. But it's like an it's like a Twitch secret, so don't be don't be leaking. Don't be leaking. Oh my god, they got their wisdom teeth pulled at 9? What? I thought that was like an old person thing. Dude, getting them yoinked at 9 years old? Oh, that sucks for them. I mean, when you're 9, probably eating like a whole gallon of ice cream isn't as like detrimental as if you were to be like older. Hmm. She had issues. <laughs> Rainy, stop! <laughs> yes, you are perfect, hun. <gasps> oh my god, stop! <laughs> Ego much? Literally. <laughs> I'll never get my wisdom teeth pulled. Yeah, same. I'm so scared. I haven't gone to the dentist in literal years. The last time I got my teeth cleaned was back in element- nope, fucking high school. Cause like, you know how like, outside the school they'd have like, the- the dental van? That came with like, free state insurance? The last time I got them cleaned was I think, 11th grade? So, oh my god, six years ago, and me in a video game. Dude, that's so long ago. But it sucks because like, dental is not included in our state insurance, cause I- I get the free insurance cause I'm- I don't have a fucking job. And I'm poor as shit. So we get the state insurance. And like, eyewear is not covered by state insurance either. So it's like, I want to get new glasses, but I can't afford them right now. <clears throat> yeah, dent- Okay, I have a horror story from the dentist. It, it didn't happen to me. It didn't happen to me. Let me clarify. Um, but my friend, he had to get his teeth cleaned, and same as me, he didn't go for the dentist for years. And he went to one clinic, and, like, his jaw started swelling, and there was, like, a huge, like, huge-ass lump. So he went back, and they were like, oh, shit, you probably have an infection. And they were like, here, take this medicine. So they prescribed, I don't remember what it's called, but it's, like, some type of medicine that's, like, an offshoot of, like, penicillin. And he's allergic to penicillin. So, like, when he went to go pick up the prescription, the doctors were like, hey, pull me, you shouldn't take this. This literally has penicillin in it. And he's like, well, the dentist told me to take it. And then the, the pharmacists were like, hey, you shouldn't take it. So, imagine, like, your dentist prescribing you some shit that could literally kill you. 
when like you explicitly told them that like hey man i can't have penicillin but like bro you prescribed it to me anyway actually crazy thankfully he didn't take any of the medicine so he didn't like have a allergic reaction thank god but like he was calling me about it and i was like yeah that's crazy like because, like, he didn't trust doctors before this, but for sure he does not truck doc trust doctors at all now. Because of that one bad experience. And it sucks how, like, this one... Like, one experience or one interaction can just ruin everything. Feels bad, man. <laughs> the dentist was just trolling. <laughs> Maddie, stop. Hi, welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well today. <laughs> Stop, that's so bad. <laughs> yeah, trolling with his life, man. <laughs> oh my god. You need to stop. <laughs> oh, Batty, I appreciate you filling out the You Laugh, You Lose. I saw your submission, and I cannot wait to see what videos you gave me. Because I know you were, like, cooking up videos for weeks, and I, I was waiting. But thank you for submitting, man. Oh, talking about you laugh, you lose. If you haven't already, um, a fan favorite segment of stream is you laugh, you lose. And I am doing a viewer submitted you laugh, you lose next. Yeah, next Sunday for my birthday stream. <clears throat> so if you haven't already, go fill out that Google form. You sent the most random stuff. Like, I think Batty said it in chat before. But they were like, I don't know what videos to submit because like I don't necessarily know your humor. And I was like, that's the point. You gotta like throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks, you know? <clears throat> yes, I know. It's crazy, isn't it, Aslan? Cause like he went back to the clinic and like he called them back several times because I was like, hey, you need to call them back and like explain to them why what they did was like kind of fucked up. And like he was talking to the secretary and like the office was obviously small because she like she'd be on the phone. She, he'd be like, "Hey, this is what happened." She'd be like, "Okay, I'll ask the doctor." Sets the phone down, like yells across the clinic, be like, "Hey, doc, dude, why'd you bring guys in that shit?" And it's like the some of the most like unprofessional shit, or like any type of medical facility I've ever seen, just based off of what he told me. Um, that's why, like, if you ever go to the doctors, guys, and you're unsure about something, like, ask questions. Because a lot of the times, they won't bring up stuff unless you bring it up first. So, like, if you have, like, an undiagnosed medical condition that you're unsure about, like, ask questions. Like, you can ask them, like, hey, I have concerns about my symptoms may be showing this type of ailment. So, like, just ask questions, ask for, like, information pamphlets. Like, anytime I go to the doctor, like, anytime I go get my, like, birth control and shit, like, I always ask for, like, the information sheets just in case, like, I have any symptoms later on that I can, like, <clears throat> show to my main doctor. Um, yeah. Why would they reschedule but not tell you? That's... Dude, that's EU doctors for you, man. <laughs> I know American doctors are whack, but rescheduling without telling you is kind of weird. Kind of sus, IMO. <clears throat> I mean, I'm trying to think of the reason why you're using the Meg Spin, and I just picture. Like, a doctor sitting in their chair, just spinning around in their office. Like, just dilly-dallying. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Emmy. Yeah, I'm going to the doctor next week, and it's my... I've been talking about this for a while, but it's my first, like, PCP visit ever. Because I've been waiting to go to the doctor since literally January. So... I'm excited to, like, get looked at and possibly diagnosed with, like, depression or some shit. <laughs> but also, like, kind of scared. Because my original PCP that was assigned to me, um, they had to change my appointment to another doctor. Um, both women doctors, so I, I, I don't, I don't care, but, like, women doctors are cool. I, I actually think at my clinic, all of the doctors there are women. So, let's go. Feminism. 
Um, oh, I have a lot of shit. Okay. <clears throat> But yeah, that'll be fun. That'll actually be next week, so I might have to skip a stream day next week. So, Sag. But you are gonna get an extra stream on Sunday, because it's the birthday stream, so you guys won't be missing out on too much. I think that is fair. I know, I can't wait to see what vid you guys sent me. I legit can't wait. Because, like, we've been hyping it up for a month now, right? So, you guys best have good shit. Because, <laughs> like, I'm thinking... I have just about everything planned for the birthday stream. We are going to have an announcement tomorrow on Twitter. So, if you aren't already, go follow the Twitter. But... <clears throat> I'm thinking about if I want to have, like, a friend on for the You Laugh, You Lose segment. I'm debating it. Because, like, I think it would be funny to have, like, some sort of stakes. But then also, I have to figure out how to, like, screen cap my YouTube to the Discord and stream. So if I am going to have a guest on for that segment, I got to figure that shit out. And that doesn't sound fun. Because, like, there's some websites to where you can, like, watch YouTube at the same time. To where, like, it'll, like, cast your link to their device. But it doesn't work with playlists, so I need to figure that out. Because, like, I could screen cap my window through Discord screen share, but then I feel like that'd be too much on my computer. Because, like, anytime I open up, like, even one or two extra tabs on my computer, the stream bricks itself. So, I'm going to have to be doing test streams on my alt account this week. <laughs> but none of y'all know my alt account. So, good luck finding it. I mean, okay, I'm going to be honest. The name is pretty obvious. It's nothing too outlandish or too crazy. I, it, it's very findable. <laughs> My alt is Rainy Day Games, yeah, I'll be. Yeah, Rainy Day Games is just me in a costume. I'm just cosplaying as Rainy Day Games the character. <laughs> Dude, she's like more, more famous than me. Why would my alt hypothetically be more famous than the main? That'd be kind of sad, wouldn't it? <laughs> I thought about making like an alt account. But then, because, like, you know in people's alt accounts, I feel like they stream, like, more hours on an alt account. Like, if you look at, like, big streamers' alt accounts, like, they stream, like, just random shit on their alts. And, like, I was thinking about it, but I don't want to be on stream or on camera all the time. Because then it's a lot more difficult to separate your real personality from your stream personality. Yeah, Rainy Day Games is my alt account because never people never expect it. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be kind of troublesome because Rainy's white and I'm kind of brown? I, I think that would be controversial on its own, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> that would be a cancelable offense, like, actually. <laughs> One way of saying it, Aslan. Like, <laughs> because 
Okay, let, let's not let's not get too edgy, guys. Let's not get there. We don't want to be like soda popping. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, I miss soda popping. I've been watching his YouTube videos because I miss his streams. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting distracted. <laughs> it's unusually bright in my room for this time of the day. And I was just looking at my walls. Because, like, I would like to stream later in the day. But the lighting isn't it. Because, like, the way my window is, like, there's just direct sunlight at, like, 3 or 4 p.m. And it casts, like, this ugly-ass, like, ray of light on me, and I do not like it. Yeah, I, I totally agree with your point, Asley. I think, like, an alt account would be good. Or, like you said, no cams. Or, like, maybe, like, a VTuber. But, to me, VTubers are cool. Like, do what you do to feel comfortable, right? But, I feel like VTubers... It's a lot easier, like, if you're the streamer, to, like, disassociate from your, like, personality on stream or on camera. And, like, I feel like if I wasn't on camera, I would be less encouraged to, like, one, talk more, and then also be as extra. Because I think one of the best critiques I got from, like, a streamer friend and I was, like, still, like, transitioning from, like, affiliate to, like, from, like, who megalol to affiliate... <laughs> Was she told me that you need to be more animated on camera because she said when like if someone is coming into your stream from like discover and they see like your stream preview and they don't see that you're like moving around or that you're making like facial expressions and like your thumbnail is just the same all the time she said people would be less inclined to click on it and I was like oh I never thought about it because like when I would watch her stream she would be like super like extra super animated and, like, just, like, even if the game is moving on screen, like, her face cam was also, like, like, very active as well in terms of, like, movement. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. And, like, another reason why, like, I have face cam on is because... <laughs> If I didn't stream, I would literally be wearing, like, just, like, comfy clothes all day. Yes, I'm not super dolled up. Yes, I don't wear makeup. Yes, I don't look super cute in terms of clothing. Um, but if I didn't stream, I would just be wearing normal clothes all day. Which is fine. But streaming gives me a reason to, like, get out of bed and, like, actually change my clothes. And not wear the same sweatpants for four days, you know? Even though you don't see my legs, I could wear the same sweatpants every day. But you guys wouldn't know that. <laughs> That's why I was like, I want to wear jeans today. I want to I wanna try dress up a little bit. Oh my god, 93,000? Holy shit. That is a lot of fucking money. Dude, we are rich as shit. <clears throat> yeah, we could literally be wearing no pants. <laughs> See, can you get away with that, though? Like, okay, I've heard stories. Uh, should I? Should we go down this road? But let's not. I'm gonna dive. I'm gonna change the subject. <laughs> I'm making the executive decision to change the subject. Um, <laughs> mods. <laughs> Wait, good idea, yes. Good idea, mods. For some reason, 
my 7TV emote menu is not loading, but the emotes are still loading. Like, the menu is not loading, and it's actually frustrating. We spin to distract. Yeah, Meg spin, please spin. <laughs> Because, like, my thing is, like, I think jokes are funny, but also, like, I don't want to be clipped saying gross shit is basically what I mean. That's, that's why, like, when I'm like, hey, let's change the subject, let, let's do that. Because, <laughs> like, last thing I'll say about the topic is, like, I feel like a lot of people who come into, like, randos chats and, like, open with, like, kind of a weird message is... They want the streamer to say gross stuff, because that's what they like seeing or hearing. And like, also it's like a subtle power dynamic, because when people are still very small, like my size, it's very easy to like, lose viewers, which happens, I don't care if people don't want to stay or like, leave over time, that's fine. I understand people get burnt out of people, that's fine. But like, <clears throat> people are very hesitant to like, lose viewers so they will like appease to a certain audience or like a certain chatter right but like i will never do that stuff if i don't like a joke i will tell you that i don't like the joke or like try and change the subject because like i don't want people crossing lines i don't i don't like that shit you know yeah drake's in chat for me drake in chat for me <laughs> um <laughs> anyway so it's like, a lot of the time, people will say, like, kind of, like, gross or, like, subtly vulgar things to get the streamer to say it, right? Like, you know, like, TTS or, like, they'll make a donation just to have the streamer read it out, right? And I don't find it appropriate. Like, I don't want people clipping me. I don't want people... Because, you know, people like those things, right? We will say like because I don't like thinking about people, what people do behind the screen. You know? Like, there's definitely some weirdos out there. So, like, I, I I just like to be careful. I like to be cautious. Um. And, like, a lot of people, when they're still starting, they will kind of lean into the, the vulgarity shtick. Because it's very easy to garner up an audience based off of that, right? But then the audience you build is, like, people who are there who don't necessarily like your real personality. They just like your vulgarity. And like, kind of like... Not itemize. But they kind of disassociate you from being a real person. And I don't want that type of chat, you know? That's just my thoughts. <laughs> Shock factor, yeah. This is why, like... I think a prime example is like, you know, like the YouTubers or streamers who keep on doing more and more extreme things. Or, like, their chat will do, like, more and more crazy shit to get a reaction. Like, I don't want that to happen. So. Hi, you here. Welcome to chat. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you for coming in and saying hi. <laughs> okay. So, we have a lot of money right now. I don't think we have enough to pay off our debt just yet. But surprisingly, those hot items sold for a hot penny. <clears throat> thoughts on bunny day i like it i think the easter event is like my favorite holiday event in the game mainly because it gives you like a week to prepare and like gather materials <clears throat> and like just the crafting mechanic is fun like we did get all of the easter day items crafted in the first hour of stream thankfully it didn't take too long like we're just finishing up dailies right now Ah, uh, it's 548,000, Sag. Yeah, I totally agree with your opinion here. Like, I hated during the Easter event last year. Because, like, I had, like, very few trees on my island. Like, I hated how, like, I needed wood. But, like, all of the wood would just turn into eggs. But now I'm, like... I don't mind it as much. <laughs> like, at the time, I used to hate how, like, the fish would be eggs. And I would, like, legit be upset because at the time I was, like, grinding for, like, collectibles. And I was getting genuinely upset. <laughs> Honestly, not, not that big of a deal. 
Like, it's just for a week. It's fine. I can always go... Oh, wait. I forgot eggs spawn at the deserted islands, too. Um... It's just a week of pain, I guess. Spain without the S, just pain. Ooh, rare butterfly, I have to get it. Okay, chat, be quiet. Easy, look at that, guys. Because I think that's one of the faster butterflies. Man, look at all the flowers we got last night. I do like how my pavilion is decorated, though. Like, this part right here with the balloons and the arch. The chef kiss. It is so good. I, I went like this. <laughs> Instead of like this. <laughs> that, that was the wrong action. Oopsie. Okay, I think we're gonna go ahead and plant these extra flowers up in the higher sections that we can call it a day. Oh wait, but actually, um, I don't think I want to do you laughy loose today. I think we will save that for Tuesday. Tuesday, in it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we do get to break out the journal today because we got a donation and a gifted sub today. So we'll be doing the sub journal shortly. I thought we were going to stream for longer because I thought it would take longer to like farm the sky eggs, but like actually being able to trade them for different eggs is a game changer. Don't stare at me, Batty. We will do you laugh you lose on Tuesday. It's mainly because like I only have one video left in the playlist and I need to find more videos <laughs> to BH. So I need to find some more compilation videos. <laughs> I'm a no content streamer. Okay, so let I think we're good to go for Animal Crossing. Well, let's just do one more final walkthrough of the Easter decorations. That way we can admire it one time. Where do we send the videos? Why do you ask out here? So I'm gonna go ahead and link it in chat. It is a Google form where you can submit three of your favorite Haha -ha YouTube videos. Full rules are listed in the Google Doc, but please make sure you read them carefully before you submit. Make sure you're submitting YouTube videos. Make sure you type out your uh, Twitch username correctly when you submit. It's honestly not that hard. I made it as easy as possible. <laughs> but yeah, you guys have until Friday to submit Haha -ha YouTube videos. Okay, let's jump. One final tour. I I still love how I place the rabbits in the garden. It's so cute. I used to have a pet rabbit when I was younger. And like he looked like this. But gray brown. Ooh, look at this. Oh, look at this. It's so good. Oh, just the shot alone. Amazing. Kaya here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I still like how I angled this. I thought this was super cool. Megan, last night at 11, was genuinely so proud of herself for like thinking of this. Because I wanted to arrange the clothing in a way that was like kind of cool. <laughs> Whoops, you're fine. <laughs> it's just five points. It's nothing, hun. <laughs> That's a drop in the bucket. But yeah, so that concludes the... Animal Crossing segment of stream. Thank you to anybody who chilled and hang out or hung out with me. It was a good time, genuinely. Let's go ahead and save. And we can switch gears to Um Thinking Subs. So if anybody is new to stream, for anybody who donates, subscribes, gift subs, or cheers bits, you'll get your name written all cute and stuff at end of stream. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get my second camera set up. Oops, wrong. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> wrong scene. Okay. Make sure I don't mess this up. Okay, we're putting my phone into do not disturb mode so we don't dox anybody. Easy. I also updated this capture program, so let's hope she works. Dude, I've had this zit for a week now. I hate it. Anyway, like, I have decent skin. It's just I break out sometimes and it's very annoying. Okay, phone cam is connected, guys. And I downloaded a new camera program. So hopefully it doesn't like time out every like million seconds. There we go, it's desk POV, guys. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and change our title to just chatting. Mods. Dude, imagine if I had a million and one mods, that'd be crazy. Okay, if you subscribe or watch your name, we also have a channel point redemption. To where I think it's how many points? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. For just 750 channel points, I will write your name as well. Imagine. Ow, I kicked my chair. It didn't actually hurt. I'm joking. It is called comedy. <laughs> so we had an anonymous donator Give me 10 bucks earlier, so I don't know what color to give them. I think indigo would be cool. Indigo is kind of like an elusive color, right? There we go. We're not going to show feet. We're not going to do that today. Whew. Okay, let's not unplug these cords because that is literally my Ethernet cord and my mic cable. How do I spell anonymous? Anybody know? And, uh, oh, dude. It's O N. It's O N Y M O. -E. Anonymous. O U S. Dude, this is a new pen. And it has so much ink. There we go. I'm also changing up how I'm writing S's. I kind of like the look of the non-cursive and just like a regular s with an attached tail i think that looks cute anonymous thank you buddy <laughs> i didn't see your chat because i had it open in another tab <laughs> but thank you <laughs> imagine you just spell it wrong to troll with me i think that'd be like that'd be a baddie thing to do you know So we had Anonymous donate $10, which is actually insane. My first ever donation. Pago, oh, shout outs.
I should have. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. You're you're, just, you're being like a wholesome chatter right now, which is really nice. Usually truly, but you know, gotta be wholesome sometimes, right? Okay, camera has it timed out yet? Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna use this camera app from now on. Because it has it timed out just once. That's good. Because chatters were complaining, along with myself, <laughs> that the timer or that the phone camera would automatically close after two minutes. But that's not happening right now. Sorry, I had to stretch. Okay, next we had Amy Beef gift a tier one sub to chat. Make sure it's on cam. Can't be disappointing the Emmy beef. Dude, I had a dream last night that an old friend gave me a birthday card with $2,500 in it. And then I cried, and then I woke up, and I was like, damn, that would have been crazy. I like the look of the straight B and the straight F instead of the loop. I think it looks a lot cleaner. Anonymous visited me in the dream. Maybe, maybe that was anonymous. Maybe. But it was wild because, like, it was an offline donation, which has never happened. Because, like, the whole point of donating or, like, subscribing during the stream is to get, like, the streamer's attention, right? So, homie went to the stream elements and just donated for fun, which is cool. I, I genuinely appreciate it. But I was, like, shocked because I was like, whoa, have the Oilers finally found me? Imagine. Okay, the only thing I do not like about the camera app is see the focus. I don't think I can turn that off, but I think that is better than it timing out, right? Thoughts? Okay. Anyway, that concludes stream for today. Unless anybody, unless anybody wants to subscribe or share bits or donate right now. I don't know maybe <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding or maybe i'm not <laughs> um yeah okay so anyway thank you to anybody who came in to stream today i know today was like an extra unscheduled stream so make sure you guys have go live notifications on if you are already following and if you're not following what are you doing you've been here long enough drop a follow you know um, I will be live again on Tuesday, 11 a.m. PST. If you want to see more of my offline, you can check out my social media accounts. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you aren't already, go follow the freaking TikTok. Literally all of my chatters are from TikTok. <laughs> um, I don't know if anybody I know is live right now because it is a Sunday. Uh, okay, the only streamer that I follow that's live right now is Hachubby. Genuinely, I love Hachubby so much. Anyway. Okay. So thank you to anybody who came into stream. Any chatters, lurkers, viewers, I appreciate everyone. Um, as I said earlier, oh, I have an announcement tomorrow that is going to be dropped on my Twitter. So if you aren't already, go follow the Twitter. Look forward to that. Also, I forgot to mention, we do have the birthday stream next Sunday. Um, the full schedule will be announced probably Thursday stream. I'll have everything finalized by then. But if you haven't already, make sure you guys fill out that Google form for the Ulafulous Challenge. I think right now we have seven submissions, which is great. That is genuinely amazing to think that like seven people took time out of their day to submit. That is amazing. So thank you guys for to anybody who has filled it out. And if you haven't already, go do it right now. We're ending stream. You literally have time to go fill it out. Like, come on, man. <laughs> um, 
yeah so i'm gonna head out i hope everyone enjoys the rest of the day i hope everyone enjoys your holiday um yeah i'll see you guys later okay bye